Okay, now we'll continue. Uh, it has become fashionable in recent years for people of a certain age to start throwing away things that they think their kids won't want to mess with after they die. I would like to go on record as being opposed to that idea. I have thoroughly enjoyed going through what my mom left behind. It has given me a new understanding of what she experienced and how she felt and what she valued. And I know my mother a little better now than I did. And that's been helpful to me. There's a passage in the Bible which described the things that were happening in the life of Mary, the mother of Christ. And it says that she treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Well, my mom was like that, except that in addition to pondering things in her heart, she documented them, wrote them down, made multiple copies, put them in file folders and made digital copies on flash drives. She had 26 photo albums, big photo albums, stuffed photo albums. And virtually all of the photos of her were in one of four categories. They were either official school photos, a picture of Rose opening a Christmas present, Rose sitting around a campfire or Rose holding, holding a baby. All the other pictures in there were pictures she took, so she wasn't in them. She kept letters she had received, cards, newspaper clippings. Uh, she has a rejection slip from a publisher regarding a story she had submitted, along with the story itself. She has notes from her grandchildren, refrigerator artwork from when I was a kid. She has pages of genealogical information about the family's heritage. And what this tells me is that legacy was very important to my mother. Not just the legacy she received, but the legacy that she was going to leave. She wanted to be remembered. And as I look around my computer screen, I can see that she succeeded. She made her mark, not by becoming a famous writer, not by becoming a, a renowned pianist, not by making a fortune in the radio business, or being named teacher of the year, but simply by loving the people in her life, by reflecting the love of God to the people that he put in her path. Rosalie was who she was to you because she cared about you and you knew it. And to a greater or lesser degree, you were altered by that. And because of that affection, you were also altered by her influence and her example and her guidance and her encouragement. You know, on the morning of November 28th, the world changed for me. You see, I'm... I'm not familiar with a world that doesn't have my mom in it. And I kind of expected that this new world would be less caring, less funny, <laughs> less kind, less interesting. But it isn't. All that compassion and sweetness and insight and humor and wisdom is still here because my mother didn't take that with her when she left. She couldn't, she'd spent her entire life pouring it all out into you and me. That's how you create a legacy. That's how you make a mark. Good job, mom. May we all make such a mark. I wanna thank you for being a part of this, this event, uh, for sharing this time. Uh, when we share our joys, our joys increase. And when we share our sorrows, our sorrows decrease. God is really good at arranging that sort of thing. So I want those, I want to invite those of you who wish to share to do so. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky. <laughs> so bear with me. I'm going to keep everybody muted, I guess, until you want to speak, just wave your hand and It'll be just like my mother's second grade classroom. We'll try it that way. <laughs> um, so at that point, I will unmute you one at a time. Uh, Jeff, did you have something to? 
Yeah, yeah, I'll be happy to. Uh... You're still muted. Oh, wait. Um, there you are. Yeah. Um, yeah, my mother was special. Uh, everybody's mother's special, but mine was extremely special. <laughs> um, We, um, we shared some very special memories because my father decided that he didn't want to manage a radio station. He wanted to own one. <laughs> and that meant mom was right there to own one too. That was the way. And um, I started. I started working at that radio station just before my 16th birthday, and worked there past the time they sold the radio station. Five years later, and so my mother, who was teaching at the time, would go out there to the radio station, out in the middle of nowhere, get there early in the morning to write any local news that was available. Because the night before she'd been to the city council meeting in Arthur or the Sullivan School Board meeting. So she'd write the news, write up any commercials that needed to be done, go teach school and come back. <laughs> and record some of those commercials. And uh, so we, we spent a lot of time together. There were a few days before you even snowed in, just the two of us with me on the air and her answering telephones. She would um, phone my dad into some of the commercials that she uh, recorded. Um, and like I said, for the years we were at the radio station, she wrote most of the commercials. So I'm going to see if I'm able to share my screen, David, so that I can pull up. Uh... I just wanted to play a commercial that she and my dad did that my mom wrote when my brother Don ran the Montgomery Ward catalog store in Sullivan. <laughs> yeah, there was a whole series of those kind of commercials where she got my dad to do whatever it was that she wanted done. And that meant buying something at the Montgomery Ward store. One of the things that uh, says, oh, excuse me. One of the things that says a lot about my mother was she'd be out there on a Saturday afternoon and 
the way the radio station was set up was there was the control room, a big glass window, and then the recording studio. And there wasn't any curtains. <laughs> and so she would be recording her commercials. And I made it my goal to make her, laugh, make her start laughing. And I was very successful at making her laugh while she was trying to record these commercials, well, whatever it took. And she would just go along with it and laugh too. And, and looking back, you know, I realized all the hours that she was spending at that radio station working so hard. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't shoot me for interrupting her the way I was put to. But uh, no, it was just about making memories and trying to get some commercials done. But um, it was a special time that I certainly, uh, certainly cherish about a special woman. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> um, at this point, the, uh, can you hear me? Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure at this <laughs> juncture. Um, at this point, the service itself, unless somebody else has, has and I can't see anybody waving frantically. So, um, oh, wait, Paula, here we go. Okay, you'll need to unmute yourself. I just wanted to say she was such a special person and such a guidance to me and to everyone she taught with and everyone she knew love her thank you oh ann you'll have to okay you'll have to unmute too i can't do that from there you go i just second that what a wonderful person to work with never a day that she wasn't cheerful. She went out of her way to mother me through the beginning of learning how to um, work at school and taught me so many things, uh, but mostly about life. And I really enjoyed our conversations, especially during the pandemic when she had every reason to throw in the towel and uh, be crazy with life, but she cheered me up every time we talked. Um, but one thing that I remember about her was at uh, school, she would come, her room was as far from the office as any of the rooms, and I worked in the office, and she would come down and tell us something funny that happened or something cheerful nearly every day. And she would chuckle her special Rose laugh and end saying, I know Rose, go to your room. I know, go to your room. <laughs> And I've thought of that a lot the last two weeks, how um, the Lord promised us that he'd prepare a room for us, and he called her to a room. And um, I'm happy to think of her being happy there. I'm very happy for her. Um, she's very proud of you boys, and I know um, she lived a great life that we can all look up to. Thanks. Oh, uh, Karen. Oh, you're muted. You, there we go. Can you can you hear me now? Yep. I I just kind of want to repeat things that everybody else has said that my memories as a little girl at grandma's house that Aunt Rosie was always laughing and 
you, her and your dad had such a beautiful relationship. They teased each other. They cared about each other. Um, you could tell there was never any of the snarky stuff that goes on with people. They just were awesome. And just later in life, she was such a blessing to my mother that they would talk daily. And I had the, the privilege of taking my mama to visit your mama a few times. And um, I still have some slivered almonds in my freezer that she sent <laughs> home with me. So, anyway, you guys, you, you know, you, you're my favorite cousins. Um, I, would, I would say she's my favorite aunt, but I got Aunt Jeannie, and Aunt Jeannie is just a doll, and I love her so much too. But I, I love all you guys, and I'm so glad to get to be a, a part of this. And um, she'll be missed, but you know, she didn't need to stay here anymore. <laughs> Yep. She, she's uh, she's um, when they say she's in a better place, she's definitely in a better place. She's with Dorothy <laughs> and everybody I mean, else. Senior Italy. star is nice, but it's not as it's not as nice as heaven. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we we love you guys, and that's all. I just had to say say that, and I'm gonna turn myself off now. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? I don't know how. I don't know how. Jeannie, you're on if you want to talk. I don't know how. You're all, well, we're hearing you. Are, you can hear me? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, of course, uh, I'm, I, I was six years old when she was born, and it was my job to take care of her. And uh, I liked that because I love playing with dolls and I had a chance to play with dolls a lot longer because she wanted to play with dolls too. <laughs> so uh, I enjoyed taking care of her and I was so happy when she moved up here uh, that I could go up and resume taking care of her. And uh, we had wonderful times together and uh, I miss her already because um, we were talking a lot on the phone. <clears throat> and um, thank you, Karen, for remembering me, too. <laughs> uh, I love you, too. <laughs> you got that in there. All right. So uh, bless you. And uh, I love. Yeah, I've got it. Uh, OK. <laughs> um, I love all of uh, Rosalie's family, her boys. And uh, of course, I love all of my little nephews and great nieces and nephews and love my family as she did. Uh, we had wonderful parents and they taught us how important God is and love for each other. Uh, so uh, I just wish God's blessings on all of your families and all of her friends. Uh, God bless you all. Bye-bye. Thanks, Jeannie. Appreciate it. Um, I saw Gina just uh, posted in chat about mom and dad and Ernest, and everybody gathering down at Red Hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, Red Hill is where we plan for the uh, for the ashes to end up, I have, I have dads and moms, and uh, after going through all those pictures and seeing all of those times when they're gathered on a campfire, I think that's a, just a wonderful place for them <laughs> all to end up. Um, the plan is to, when it gets a little bit warmer, to uh, take them both to Red Hill and build a campfire and put one of those famous chimney logs on top of it and shoot them up into the air. <laughs> and uh, I think they both get a kick out of that, <laughs> especially if they got to go together. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they spend many a wonderful weekend or more. <laughs> they spend many wonderful weeks <laughs> at Red Hill and, and uh, uh, so much of the family and friends are able to gather there. They'd have a dozen or more uh, there. And Gina can probably share better than I can. Yeah. Well, 
it looks like let me let me make one more check i can't see all of you on the same screen at the same time i have to keep going back and forth to make sure i'm not missing anybody um at that point i guess then the oh. service itself is ended however if this were an in-person event you'd have the opportunity to hang around for a while and chat uh, so we're going to try an online alternative if everything works like it did in rehearsal which so far has not happened <laughs> you have, um, very shortly receive on your screen an invitation to uh, move to a breakout room for conversation and uh, that should be showing up now I hope I've uh, I set those up, one for extended family, one for school friends, one for church folks, one for others. Um, you should be able to select the one you want. And uh, Zoom should put you right together. And so you can swap stories with folks who knew Rose in the same way that you did. So we're going to invite you to go ahead and do that. And when you're ready to leave, uh, just close out your browser and poof, you're home. <laughs> and so... Uh, Thanks again to all of you for being with us today. You have uh, you have honored my mother and you've blessed her family, and so thank you. Dave, I don't see any uh, breakout options. Does anybody have those? No, I don't. I'm not getting anything. It's no, a, I don't either. In progress. Hmm. Well, here, let me close them and open them again. It says all participants have been invited to join breakout rooms. That's what it tells me. But apparently it's lying to me. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we're, we're stuck not. without the breakup rooms. Just again, thanks for being here. And uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's very important to all of us. It was a blessing. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. You are appreciated. Your love is uh, definitely felt. No. Thanks, Dave. Very touching. And um, I wish I had known your mother better than I did. She was a wonderful person. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. She was a hoot. <laughs> That's <laughs> We could just see, we did see a little of that. Giant <laughs> breakout room. Hang up now. I don't know if you can hear me. And yeah. I don't know if I can talk. But. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. It's all right, baby. It's all right. I loved her so much. And um, she would. When I would talk to her on the phone, she'd call me precious. And she was the most precious person to me. She'll always be with me. She, her picture's on my refrigerator <laughs> with Aunt Jeannie and Mom and Dorothy, and I just love them very much. And uh, I loved her so I much. I, I was talking to you and I said I had it oh, and then you didn't answer. It was extremely you. mutual. Yeah. I loved about her you. so much. Yeah, she talked about you a lot, Amy, and appreciated you. And she would have gotten such a thrill out of. Uh, us reconnecting. Yeah. It would have been wonderful if she had been able to join us. Yep. I think she's here. I know. I know she is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Please stay connected with me, Jeff and Dave. And it's good to see Karen, Cheryl. <laughs> Haven't seen you forever. Yeah. A long time. Yes. 
and I'm in mom's house and it looks just like when she left it. <laughs> <laughs> My nephews came in and they said, can we look in the house? I'm like, yeah. And they look and they go, oh, this is just the way it was 30 years ago. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Why change it? Yeah. Something works. Yeah. Why change yeah. it? Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Love you all. Love you. Praying for you all. Bye. Goodbye. David? Yeah. Oh, yes, hey, Dad. Jeff, I just wanted to thank you guys for doing it. Uh, thank, yeah, David, it's been a nice job, as, you, yeah, as yeah. usual, but uh, yeah. a very nice job. I was just I'm glad I had a backup computer going at the same time. So I didn't yeah. have to leave the meeting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, no, that was all right. Well, it was wonderful. Guys. Yeah, Kathy. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you too, man. Love you too. Me too. That's what family is. Yeah. We do family pretty good. We really do. What's that? We do family pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I not all that long ago. We did it together. Yep. That still amazes me. Well, like I said, you know, we're, we're a far-flung group, and if we can... Mm -hmm. Make an effort. Uh, she was she was a connection for a, <laughs> for a lot of people that don't normally get to see each other. So yeah. maybe we can maybe we can build some more of those bridges. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be cool. Now, all, all it takes is just a little bit of effort. By the time he gets it, I think. Yeah. And I think we can do that. Look right. Thank you, guys. You bet. Thanks, Dave. No problem. Well, I say no problem. There was a bunch of stuff that went wrong. <laughs> it's no problem to do it, that's for sure. Okay. I think we all needed this. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised. I haven't been to any other zoom memorials um but i'm not i'm, I'm kind of surprised there aren't more of those you know really especially with with people uh, with covid and people being you yeah. know, isolated I imagine i imagine there were there probably yeah yeah well i'm gonna leave thank you guys you bet Thank you, yeah, Kathy. feel free to feel free to, to to drop out whenever I I feel bad shutting it off, so I'm just going to sit here. But if eventually we will all eventually go home or stop being here, wherever here is, and be home. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of looking over the chat room. Yeah. Yeah, Gina and all uh, didn't have a microphone. Oh, uh, okay. So they, that's why they couldn't answer. So she's been. For some reason, I lost all my 
picture. There it is again. Yeah, I was set up in the living room. So I thought it'd be more comfortable out there. And uh, it was a lot of scratchy. It was, it was a lot of hiss and all. Yeah. And I'm, I'm too far away from the modem, you know, the wireless. So I probably the last second backed up and <laughs> came in my bedroom and set up here. But the, the scratchiness continued. It was the cassette tape. Yeah. Well, I've lost all of my picture, so I don't, well, now this one's starting to freeze up too. Wait, there you all are again. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> well, see, I didn't get to see Jordan. Divine intervention. Oh, well, that was nice. Yep. Well, you just said you didn't get to see him. I'm here. He... Hello. Hello. From hey there. The I think you probably came the farthest. Yes, right. <laughs> well, I'm, Everybody's I'm still in my pajamas. So. Be careful going home. Yeah, it's the yeah. best time, huh? Happy uh, birthday to Emma. Me. Only hey. for us, it won't be till I'm tomorrow. I'm here in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Listening in. Um, it was a wonderful service. Uh, Did you want to share some memory of driving all night to Florida? <laughs> uh, sure. I remember uh, I had to sleep on the floor behind the back seat because I think Josh wanted to lay down. So I had to lay on the floor uh, in the van. And I remember. Um, one of the boys didn't finish the milk in their cereal and so grandma was upset and then she said i'll give you a dollar if you finish whoever has the cleanest bowl gets a dollar <laughs> and still to this day i yeah. i drink all of the milk and think about grandma every time i i do that <laughs> yeah I don't know if that's the legacy she was planning on leaving, but it's it's one of the stronger <laughs> ones. I think she'd be happy with that. Yeah, don't be wasteful. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tie that out right. Yeah. Josh must be out for a run. Yeah. He's he's muted, so you're we can't muted. hear. Muted. You're muted. We can't hear you. You must be talking. He'll your fix mouth. it. Your lips. It's, it's my there first day. It's my first day using this remote technology. Yeah, right. So, no, I'm not. I'm not running. I'm gonna. I don't know, parking lot. We have had a full day, so just trying to get somewhere where it wasn't too noisy. So yeah, good job. Thanks for being here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's unique. Um, it here. Yeah. First memorial service via zoom it was nice all those people could come yeah or right. if, they're, if they're still on it's nice all you people could come no they're gone it's just a, it's just eight now and i think two of those have probably left but they're yeah yep no no no, I thought Josh did. <laughs> He's good. No, I'm, He's outside. Uh, <laughs> Trying not to get run over by cars and stuff. There you oh, go. Please, we wouldn't want to see a car accident. You might get run over by Debbie. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> she, would, she drives I, in Denver, so she was probably coming home or from the airport. From the airport no or doubt. going to the airport. Oh, thank you, Gina. She just put in the chat, that, uh, yeah. keeping us in our prayers. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, she said she didn't have a microphone. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was kind of cool for mom to be able to pull everybody together. So yeah, there were a lot of people, a lot of people on there that I um, 
I, I definitely didn't recognize uh, some names. I feel like maybe I recognized, but yeah, there were a bunch of my cousins, a couple of teachers, yeah, yeah, and a few from Caroline, a couple of students, yeah, yeah. Oh, I meant to share that story I shared with you, David, about uh, whenever I posted the mom's uh, passing on my Facebook page. Uh, one of my old friends, uh, Jill, uh, Jill Jean, uh, posted that her mother used to do our mom's hair. And so once a week, you know, my mom would go over there and get her hair done. And she'd actually go over there early and she taught Jill how to read before she started school. <laughs> so by the time she got to kindergarten, Jill already knew how to read because our mother taught her. It's cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I still got to get you. It, I, it didn't even cross my mind, um, which is a shame. But I have a, I guess, like a scrapbook. Um, like a history family tree thing that Rose gave me a couple years ago with uh, a lot of stuff. I mean, she, there's a lot of stuff about like the radio station and a lot of stuff about when she was little, a lot of stuff about like milking cows before she walked to school in her class right. of five and stuff like that. And um, I mean, I want to keep it if it's all right, but I, oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys want to look at it and see it. Oh, I, I think she made one of those for all of you, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was special. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, all joking aside, I, if, it, if it came from Rose, I should have well, known it was well, going to be equal. <laughs> yeah. I take that back because most of them that she did, she actually did individualize a little bit. Yeah. There, there was probably a few more of your pictures in there. Yeah. And there yeah. would have been of some others so she she actually did kind of make everyone a little bit special that's cool special but so we all had the same number of pictures yeah 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 <laughs> yeah and the exactly. photo album came in a Folgers coffee box but yeah. that, Dude, i'm so i'm so arrogant i'm looking through a scrapbook and it's just stories and pictures about me and i'm like that's how special i was <laughs> and this whole scrapbook is about me <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta drive the family home. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop off, but uh, okay. safe travels. Good job, everybody. Love you guys. Good seeing you. Love you too. You yep. Driving home from this, so that's be careful. Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 What time Bye. is it there, Jordan? Uh, nine. Ten o'clock in the morning. Yep, on Sunday. So, jam a day. My gosh, she's in the future. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what's happened today? Uh, Shocks should I? It's bother? gonna be cold. Or what's happened tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Invest in Bitcoin, but I'm ten years late. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah well. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna take off too. We gotta walk the dogs and we got right, stuff to I'm do gonna, today. We gotta go set up for church. So yeah. Thanks for doing this, Dave. You bet. Don't wait. Good seeing you all. To do it again. <laughs> I would I would like to set up a yeah. regularly scheduled. Everybody hop on Zoom for ten minutes. <laughs> some some way we'll have to we'll have to stop start a an email string to figure that out but yeah i'm like gonna that. have to teach you how to use zoom first <laughs> i did fine until my internet connection got kinky on the one and it locked up but yeah. i had a second one going i could move to so yeah. see that's that's not bad <laughs> you gotta learn how to you gotta learn how to mute people and turn well, off their no, camera I didn't, yeah well the problem is if you go to mute or unmute, and so do they. It cancels each other out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the other thing I couldn't find a way to, the reason I had to have so many machines set up, I couldn't find a way to play that uh, slide thing at the beginning. 
and still be there to welcome people in and, and open the open the, the door. So I had to have it up twice with myself as co-host so that I could do that on one machine and run the slides on the other machine. And so it was just a little weird. I was thinking it'll, it'll, it'll go better. My funeral will go better because I will get somebody that knows what they're doing. <laughs> It was very impressive. I saw you letting people into the thing while you're you're giving the service. It was good. Hey, bro. All right, you guys have a, a wonderful day. Uh, it was so good seeing you guys, Jeff. Yeah, I, I don't so know good. when the last time I I saw you was. Well, it was, yeah, yeah, more well, than well, one of those years ago. Yeah, before you. Probably 10 years, yeah, probably. Overseas traveler. Yeah. Yeah, but good seeing everybody. Yep. yep. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. About 10 years, 50, 60, 70 pounds. <laughs> Could have been. Could have been. I'm going to... I can't get myself kicked out of there. I thought I could. Throw yourself out. Yeah, I could do that. I can go to participants. And... Oh, shoot. <sighs> well, I can't kick me out because I'm a co-host. <laughs> I could kick you guys out, but I can't kick me out. Okay. Oh. I'd have to withdraw co-host privileges first. It's so weird. <laughs> So many things, like at, at five thirty, I was still finding. Oh, this is this isn't going to work. This has got to be screwed up now, and trying to find a way to get everything finished. But it worked. It was fine. It yeah. was an accident. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. think I think they were glad they were here. I think so. I think so, indeed. Okay. Good job, David. Oh, there you are. I can't see you, but we could. We know you're there. Your name is there. <laughs> oh, good job, David. Okay, thank. I, you. I I love seeing everybody. I love seeing Don and Jeff and Jordan and yeah, all of her friends or a lot of her friends. And uh, I haven't seen. She would have. She would have been so pleased. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hadn't seen love you, Carol, for decades, probably. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I'll be glad we could do it. Like I said, I got to go set up a church at the clubhouse. Yeah. For tomorrow. Yeah, I've got to move while I still can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's good seeing you all. Yep. Seeing you too, Doc. Love you guys. Love you guys. Take care.